um anyway continuing on we have um just observations because i just i actually finished listening to it the other day um alex jones tim dylan on the joe rogan podcast um episode number 1555 was available was i think it was, was this stream live yeah i feel no it wasn't streaming live it was available on youtube though i think it, i thought it was being streamed live but it wasn't but my conclusion after watching that podcast is that joe rogan is a hell of a friend say what you want about him as a person especially in recent years he's kind of you know some people have had some um valid concerns about the way he's conducted himself but considering his level of success considering his level of influence considering his level of quote-unquote power he's a pretty decent human being in it and i say that because he decided after all the pushback he's gotten for signing with Spotify, for the people in Spotify, for, you know, kicking up a bit of a fuss, fuss mainly online about him getting the deal. People in Hollywood, obviously, upset that he got the money, mostly due to jealousy. The fact that Alex Jones is persona non grata in the scene, in the industry in general, um, considering, you know, his volatile nature and their somewhat um, touchy relationship over the years. For Joe Rogan to decide, hey, you're going to go on my show. I don't give a shit um is such a great f you moment or f you money moment that you definitely have to give the guy credit you definitely have to give him credit and again i know a lot of people are happy with the alex jones episode because joe rogan was essentially fact checking um alex jones throughout the entire thing but i didn't necessarily think it was a bad thing if anything i thought he was looking out for his friend somebody he's known for what more than a decade and he was trying to um humanize him in a way where he was um, inadvertently telling the public who weren't necessarily sold on Alex Jones that, hey, I know this guy says some crazy wacky shit. I know he did. He said that shit about Sandy Hook, which essentially tanked his career. And he said some other dubious things along the way, but he is right a lot of the times too. Some of the stuff that he mentions, I was though crazy as it does seem, or as it seemed back then, especially now, because Percy Frears have gotten a lot more tame nowadays, right? You can definitely understand the rationale behind a lot more conspiracy theories than he might have done a few years ago. So I think Jericho did a really good way, did a really good um, thing by getting Alex Jones on the show. And of course, having Tim Dillon on there as a counter really helped. He's a big fan of Alex. He's obviously very well versed in the world of conspiracies too, and is quite politically um, knowledgeable in that respect so that that definitely helped to move the conversation on and the hours just flew by man honestly a really really good um, appearance by alex probably would have needed or would could have been helped with having joe be able to smoke a bit i think you know this was i think towards the tail end of sober october so he couldn't obviously have any drugs or alcohol except for a cigar that he was smoking um which probably might have broken the rules but hey who am i to tell him what he's doing but that probably might have helped Joe to settle down somewhat. But I think it was definitely helped by having Tim Dillon in the room. He kind of helped to ease some of the tension. Um, and throughout, we probably, we probably got to saw Alex Jones in his best light so far. I think post his, well, he's kind of, you know, um, platform-wide censorship. Um, and again, say what you want about the dude, but being, you know, these tech platforms having the ability to essentially delete you from the public conversation is maddening isn't it and the fact that no one batted an eyelid no one again say what you want about what he says but this idea that it only is going to affect somebody like an Alex Jones especially seeing what's happened with the New York Post regarding the Hunter Biden story that's been buried it's just a really sad state of affairs but again great appearance I think Alex got a lot out of it um of course he's been welcomed back into the Joe universe he's uh, supposed to be going to appear on their election special live stream that they're going to be doing in a couple of days time so that should be pretty cool and again one of my probably favorite Alex Jones appearances on the Joe Rogan podcast I think they did an incredibly good job or uh, together I think it sort of worked out well the balance of them three in there but I'd love to know your thoughts. What did you think of these appearances? Did you think Alex Jones did a good job? Did you think he was wacky wacky? Or did you think um, Joe was right in terms of pulling him up on the fact checks? Let me know in the comments down below.